Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be making some roasted chicken, and here are the ingredients. I've got one whole chicken. I've got some vegetables. I've got chopped, peeled and chopped carrots. I've got baby potatoes chopped in half. I've got one whole lemon. I've got garlic and ginger paste. I've got British table salt. I've got some black peppercorn. I've got some peri peri marinade. I've got some Nando's lemon and herb um, marination. And I've got yogurt with red, uh, one red onion chopped. One tablespoon of tandoori masala, one tablespoon of dried coriander, one tablespoon of cumin seeds. So these are all the ingredients I'm going to be using today. Now let's start with the marination. I need to make the marinade for the chicken. So first I'm going to put in one tablespoon of garlic and ginger paste to this bowl. Thereafter I'm going to add in some of the peri peri marination. Need to be in there. That's it. I think that should be enough for now. I'm also going to add in a hint of Nando's lemon and herb spice uh, marination. Just a hint, not too much. And that should be okay. Should be enough. Now I'm going to add in the tandoori masala. Oh, a bit more now. That's okay. And now the dried uh, dried coriander. And finally, the cumin seed. And now, just one tablespoon of yogurt. One tablespoon of yogurt. Final touches of a bit of salt. And that's it. Now we're ready to mix this. I'll just get mix it all together. As you can see guys the marination is now complete honestly if you can smell this it smells delicious oh, just the best now that the, now that the marination has been complete we can put this to a side and bring in the big boss the chicken now it's time to marinate it so let's get on to that okay guys now i'm gonna add in the marination you can use your hands but i'm just gonna use a small brush that I have to coat it well so I'm just going to do this and coat it well get all sections of the chicken covered nicely now check that out that's that's been marinated on one side we need to turn it around oh there we go thanks little fella you're not really I mean, you're a big fella you are but now let's just let's just marinate this section now that the chicken's been well marinated I've got a hot lemon which I've heated in the microwave for a minute or a minute and a half I've stabbed it in with a knife and I'm just going to insert this into the cavity of the chicken in you go mate I mean, and it, oh, it's too big I think that should be okay for now just... okay guys so now that the lemon's in <clears throat> I'm going to add in some red onions I was originally going to put in two onions but Unfortunately, it's not fitting in, so we'll just put one in for now. All right, guys, I managed to put both onions in, so one's to the left side and one's to the right side. So brilliant for that. That's been put in now. Now it's a matter of just closing the legs and putting it to a side. Okay, guys, now <clears throat> put the legs together. If you have a thin rope, then fine, that could work. But I've got like a plastic rope which is used in the gardens for the flowers so I'm just going to tie his legs up it's the one side of his legs have been tied so that seems okay and now we just need to I think that's that, that's that's fine you just need to tie the legs but yeah look that's the chicken if you want also you can see the marination is going off a little bit um, we can just add in a bit more marination on there and that's fine you can leave that to us so now that the chicken's not been nicely marinated we're gonna keep this to the side we're gonna now now gonna work on the we're now gonna work on the seasoning of vegetables so I'm just gonna put the chicken to a side and we're gonna work on the seasoning of the vegetables so <clears throat> what we're gonna do first is add in all the vegetables so we've got Small potatoes chopped in halves, and then we've got peeled and cut in half carrots. So add all these. Not sure if you can see that. Yep. 
Now what we need to do is we need to add in, we need to drizzle on a bit of olive oil. So I've got this oil, you can use any olive oil that you want to use. So just drizzle it on a little bit. Make sure that the vegetables are coated nicely. Just give it a little bit of sugar. It should be okay. What I'm going to do for the seasoning of the um, vegetables is I'm going to add in some black peppercorn. And that should be enough. And now, as always, for the taste, a bit of salt. And now, the final part, just give it a little shake so it's nice and mixed. As you can see guys, the seasoning of the vegetables is now coated well, as you can see. So now that's ready, I think all we need to do is add it into the tray and add the chicken, leave the chicken, we're going to leave the chicken out, but add that into the tray and leave it until we start. Okay guys, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in the chicken, grab it from the legs uh, and add it right in here. There we go, chickens, there the vegetables are at the bottom. My personal preference, what I've done is I've um, <coughs> marinated the chicken and I'm going to leave it for a couple of hours but it's entirely up to you guys if you want the flavour to flourish more, you want it to sink in more into the chicken then you can leave it overnight but um, for me I'm, just, I'm leaving it for a couple of hours, I'm going to apply the cling film to the top and then when it's ready to cook, I'll just stick it in the oven at about 200 degrees. Okay guys, I've decided I'm going to put in some white onions. So I've got two onions, um, medium sized. I've chopped them in half and then I chopped them in half again. So I've got four pieces from each one. I'm going to add them in as well. Because I really like the, um, I love the uh, roasted onion type of taste. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to add that in. So if you guys want to add that in, by all means you can do. And you can give me feedback at the end of this video how, how it tasted. So yeah, now it's ready to go. Okay guys, now it's time to unwrap the chicken. We've had it marinated. We've, been, we've had it left for marination for about 3-4 hours now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up the chicken. Bismillah. Did you look at that? I'm just going to place the chicken in the middle of the tray. Oh my god, that just looks, that looks amazing. Now what I'm going to do is... The vegetables, I'm going to add them to the side of the tray. Mix it in nice and easy. It's Adding a few potatoes to the side. And carrots to the side. A few potatoes to this side, in the middle. That's all done. I would you just look at that? It's not even been cooked yet, and it looks amazing. It looks amazing. Oh my goodness. Now, what I'm going to do with this now is I'm just going to add this into the oven. The oven has to be preheated to about 180 to 200 degrees. Add this in and leave it for about an hour or an hour and a half. Ooh, that's hot. Put this in. There you have it guys, a full roasted chicken. Looks amazing. Thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and share.